What's going on guys, it's Dale here and welcome to another episode of Dempsec. So today we're going to be looking at a tool released by Ben Turner and Dave Hardy. Um, it's called Posh C2 or uh, PowerShell C2. Um, yeah, I guess you can use either of them. <laughs> yeah, they go by either name. Posh is just a shortened version. Basically, it's command and control server fully written in PowerShell. And what that basically means is instead of running it on like Linux like you do with Empire, you can run it entirely from like a Windows host. And uh, it differs from like um, a Metasploit reverse shell or anything like that. It's because it's mainly meant for red teaming where you kind of infect a host and the idea is you can keep it infected and stay undercover almost for long periods of time and maintain access to that system and uh yeah posh c2 is full of really nice features which allow it to be uh super super stealthy so it's super simple to install uh the the guys that made it have provided a one line uh command from github their github page uh so we're just going to follow that we just need to open a command prompt and run the command that they give on the github page so we'll wait for this to install and then uh yeah so while it's installed, it's probably worth mentioning that we have disabled Windows Defender on this system. Um, when, I've, when I've installed it on Windows 7, I've never had this issue, but for some reason in Windows 10, it just loves to eat these files, and it's pretty an obvious reason why Posh C2 comes with a lot of PowerShell payloads, which Windows is obviously going to see as malicious because it's stuff to like steal credentials, there's like memecats.ps1 and all kinds of stuff in here which uh, Windows obviously sees as malicious. So that's installed now. All that script basically does is pulls it all from GitHub and gets all the de dependencies that we need. Um, so now if we go to C and uh, temp, we now have this PowerShell C2 folder. And in here we have all the parts that uh, make PowerShell C2. So very simply, all we have to do is run this start C2 server. It wants to administrate because of the ports that it wants to open. It tries to mimic a web server, so it needs port 80, and everyone knows port 80, you need admin for it to run. Just and to quickly mention, yep, sorry, uh, just to quickly it. mention that there's a, there's a GUI as well. Yeah, there is a GUI. Um, I don't like it that much, but everyone <laughs> knows I don't like GUIs that much. I prefer command line. <laughs> Um, and I'm not sure if you can actually, I've never actually tried it. I don't know whether you can start a new C2 server in the uh, GUI or whether it's a matter if you have to run this and then you can use the GUI, but who mm. knows, I'm sure someone knows, but I, I don't. So <laughs> this is the first run. Uh, it's gonna step us through a uh, wizard because we've not used it before. We've got an error up here. We don't have Java development kit installed. Um, the reason why it needs that is it'll, as it mentions here, it'll automatically create Java applet payloads. So it just gives us another means of infecting our target machines. Um, enter the IP address or the posh, uh, of the posh C2 server. So if we're on a NAT, uh, we'd put in the external IP here, but because we're just using it locally, that is fine. That is my internal IP address. Uh, enter a new folder name for this project. So if we say uh, Demsec, why not? Uh, default beacon time. So this differs from like a reverse TCP connection that you'd see in um, Meterpreter, where it's constantly connecting back to me with posh c2 it kind of uh, the idea is it's meant to be more stealthy so it does these like web requests and it's uh, setting the default beacon time here so every five seconds with a 10 percent jitter so it's 10 percent uh, above or below five seconds um it'll ping back to us with whatever data it's trying to do and that'll make more sense when we start running some commands so uh it also has an auto kill date so if you're using this in a professional manner um, if you're if you're the end of your pen test is I don't know tomorrow, you can basically set the date of tomorrow, and all of your infected targets will automatically be disabled after that time. So it's very good if um, there's always horror stories of companies finding malware on systems which the pen test has left behind and going mad and you know all that kind of nasty stuff. But yeah, fifth of Jan twenty seventeen will be perfectly fine for us. And now it wants us to select what port to use, and we're just going to go with port 80, should work fine. And right now we're going to hit enter and a second window is going to open. So now we have Posh C2 fully running. And uh, this is kind of different to what you probably expect from a uh, regular like C2 server if you've ever used Empire or whatever. There's two separate windows and 
the one on the right here and this is where all your implants which are effectively your infected machines are going to show up and on the left is where you get the data back from them so by default uh, posh c2 goes ahead and creates a bunch of payloads as i mentioned before if we had the jdk it'd go ahead and open the java payloads um, so if we go back to the temp folder we now have this demsec folder inside here we've got payloads and we've got a number of different payloads just automatically created for us so we've got a macro here which can be uh, shoved straight into a uh, office document and that'll go ahead and get us a shell on their machine we've got a uh, ms16051 exploit we've got a batch script if we edit this it's just a uh, powershell script which will go ahead and connect back to uh, powershell c2 We've got a shortcut file, which is, uh, if we look at the properties of this, it basically does the same thing, but it does a download string from our uh, C2 server. We've got the C, uh, this .cs file, which is the source code for this uh, exe below. So we actually have the option of customizing this if we want to do that. We also have a VB script file. So in this case, I'm just going to run one of these payloads, and uh, we're just going to go for the batch script. And right here we'll see new host connected and obviously if i hit enter here we've got one host alive so we select that to interact with it go type help and we've got absolutely loads that we can do here so Ooh, pretty <laughs> yeah <laughs> loads. <there's> absolutely <laughs> loads of stuff on here um you've got privesk you've got file management we're probably going to go into all of the separate things here and like uh, lateral movement all that kind of stuff at a later date this is more just to uh, get you guys having a look at um push c2 and what it can do so from here uh we can what should we do should we do get a screenshot indeed let's get a screenshot always my favorite yeah so i've run the command on this side and you'll see here it's going to load the implant car and get screenshot and that's gone ahead and saved it to this directory so if you have a look in the demsec folder and downloads we've now got a screenshot of the system uh, if we would have used an external IP address obviously this could be remote systems going ahead and connecting to us one thing that's really awesome about posh c2 is down here it doesn't hide any of the PowerShell commands it's running so you can go ahead and learn PowerShell at the same time as doing this so it's like oh oh resizing windows again it's gone. It's hidden. Where's it gone? <laughs> there we go. Disappeared. We yeah. Uh -huh. Thought I lost it. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it doesn't hide any of the PowerShell it's actually running. So, it actually gives you a op really good opportunity to learn PowerShell. Um, yeah, it's got all the common things you'd expect it to have. It's got get. It's got Mimi Cats. It's got... Uh, you can change the beacon time. You can kill your implants. You can dump credentials. You can add credentials and we don't really have time to go through absolutely everything this can do but this is just like i said quick way to get you guys to have a look at this see what you can do with it and uh, we'll probably do a video later day actually covering some of this and actually uh, we'll set up a, a but virtual domain and we'll actually try and escalate throughout the entire domain just using powershell c2 so, so that's about Dale, it. Uh, what with, with this, would um, so if we had something like uh, like our favorite, uh, well, one of our favorite tools is Glasswire. Would would it show up on there that a new connection has been established? Or yeah, so Glasswire, if people don't know, it's kind of like a pretty simple network monitoring tool. It just logs like what processes are doing on the network. But it's more just like this process made this connection. It's it's nothing too in depth, but it's just enough for you to know what's going on. And in this case, if I were if I would have run this on my host, because I have Glasswire, it would have popped up saying PowerShell um, new outbound connection or whatever. So we'd see the outbound connection and we'd see what IP it's going to. But uh, in this case, um, PowerShell C2 is completely encrypted. So even if we, we were running Wireshark, we'd be able to see where it was going, but we wouldn't be able to see what data was going across it. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so we'll probably add the um, URL for uh, Wireshark, not Wireshark, everyone knows where to get Wireshark from. Gl Glasswire in the description as well. Yeah, Glasswire is a really nice tool. I'm sure yeah. people have heard of it, and those who haven't, you'll probably really like it. Indeed, it's very pretty. <laughs> yeah, so that that's Posh C2. Um, as mentioned, there's going to be a full right, as mentioned. Don't think I've actually mentioned this or mention it now. Uh, there'll be a full, <laughs> <laughs> there'll be a full write-up of this on the uh, demsec.co.uk website, 
uh, and the video will also be available on there. Um, we've got the forums over there. Um, yep. Yeah, so yeah, definitely head over there, check it out, um, become a member, get involved. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do those add, things. Add add wh- whatever you like. Yeah. Do those things. Um, yep. Yeah, if you like the video, remember to hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, I guess we'll see you next week. Indeed. See you later.